How are you supposed to hang out with some chick that looks like a ghost? What are you? Are you Latino? Are you Asian? Are you black? Or what are you? Oh my god. Look at her. We can't look her. Oh my god. Look at her. Look at her. Ew. We can't look her. Ew. She's an oddity. What are you? Are you Latin? Asian? Afro American? What are you? You're not Irish, are you? Damn. Did you, did you see her? I, I think she needs a lot of suntan. That chick is as white as the paper towel, yo. So what are you? Are you are, are you are you Latino or what? Are you I, I don't know Afro American, Asian? I don't know what you are. You're not Irish, are you? Yeah, you look like you mix, but I can't figure out the mix. I know you're a vinyl, but I, I can't I tell what what you're trying to do. What is it? Yeah, you mix. I know you're a vinyl, but I, I can't. So, oh, what was your time? Is what is it? She's an oddity. Ew. We can't book her. Look at her. Ew. Ew. That chick looks like a ghost. Oh my god, look at her. Look at her. Ew. How are you supposed to hang out with some chick that looks like a ghost? Look at her. Oh my god. Ew. She's so white. She made a snow. So white. Are you kidding? I can't book her. She's an oddity. She's nowhere near commercial. Commercial. Hey, Casper. She's so white, she made it snow. Oh my God, that girl needs a tan. What are you thinking when you look at me? What are the voices in your head saying as you look at me? Those voices that you just heard, those are the voices that flow in and out of my mind all day, all the time, throughout my whole life, both innocently as a child and professionally as a model. Those are the phrases, the words, and the questions that have forced me to restructure my mind on how I see others, how I see myself, and how I see our beauty. In my life for a long time, I was very withdrawn, afraid to meet new people because I didn't know how they would perceive me. I didn't understand why my albinism the color of my skin made me so different. I didn't understand why something that my parents taught me that I should be proud of was such a problem for other people. But by the time I turned 14, I knew one thing clearly, 
and that was that I wanted to be a model. I thought, hey, I'm tall, I'm slamming, I think I'm kind of cute. Why not? And if people started to see more people with albinism, then maybe they wouldn't be so shocked by it. I could live and lead just by being me. Fortunately for me, I have a mom who's very supportive of my dreams to become a model, and a mentor, a woman named Shanane, who wanted to help me pursue my dream. She invited me to my first runway lesson, and the room was filled with beautiful girls, tall, all walking back and forth confidently in their stilettos. I walked in very shy and trying not to be noticed, trying to fill out what I was getting myself into. There was a coach there. He was there to show the girls how to walk, fix their postures, and just everything a model should know. It was my turn to walk. I was really nervous, almost as nervous as I am right now. <laughs> I thought, this is my time, so I held my head up high, I put my hands on my hips, and I gave him what I thought was a fierce walk and stopped right in front of him. And I waited and waited and waited for some kind of comment, a critique, anything that would help me improve my performance. He said nothing. He just stared at me. And shortly after, a confrontation grew between him and my mentor, and he walked out and slammed the door. After, she pulled me to the side, and she was very upset. She said, I want to tell you what just happened. She said, that man asked me, why did I bring you here? Is this a joke? She will never become a model or have a day's work in this industry. You're wasting your time, and you're wasting my time. My heart dropped. She said, I'm telling you this because I need you to know that you have what it takes. You will become a model, and you will prove him and many people like him wrong. Who should I believe? Should I believe him or her? Should I believe the voices swirling around in your heads? Or should I believe my own? Shanae was my spark. To have someone believe in me so much, to challenge something that someone said that she knew for such a long time was all that I needed to fight my fight. And fight I did. It was just about a year later. I was around the age of 15, and my mother, she just started to let me ride the public transportation alone. The bus pulled up, I boarded the bus, and all eyes were on me as usual. Um, so I found myself to a window seat, I sat down, and tried to zone off into my own zone. And I heard a voice that snapped me out of my trance, a little girl. Mommy, mommy, look at her. I turned, and it was a young girl and her mother. She was giggling and pointing at me. Mommy, mommy, she looks like... And I was just so frustrated. No longer did I want to let people's voices take such an effect on me. I wanted to stand up and defend myself. So I turned to that mother and her daughter. And I was like, people need to teach their children not to point and stare and make fun of people because of the color of their skin. How dare you? And I was really awkwardly quiet. <laughs> and I started feeling good, like, yeah, I told her. <laughs> and the little girl began to cry. So I'm like, well, what's wrong with her? I'm the one getting teased here. And her mother said, well, if you were listening, you would have heard her say that you look like her Barbie doll, Alice. That's her favorite doll. And what she said was not meant to offend you in any way. It was a compliment. I felt terrible. I felt so bad making a happy moment for this child into a sad one because I was locked into a perception of her. I had seen her one way and one way only. I had to ask myself, do people really see the way that I look as something negative, or do I just expect them to? Now here I am, 10 years later, 
25 years old, and I find that that girl that could not even become a model is on the cover of the September 2015 issue of Ebony Magazine. <laughs> Me, along with five other female black models, are having a badass black model moment. <laughs> And I'm excited, I'm exhilarated to be a part of something so groundbreaking. Where's that modeling coach now, right? <laughs> but then again, the voices come swirling in, comments are all over the internet, of people are unsatisfied with the lack of color on the magazine cover. She's too white, not dark enough, is she even black? Yes, I am bothered by the lack of understanding, the insults, but I'm not burdened by it. I'm not gonna let people's confusion take a toll on me anymore. It's the fuel to my fire. What do you see when you look at me now? What are the voices in your head saying now? I hope you're hearing what I hear. That girl is so bomb when she walks into a room, it lights up, her personality, energy, that's all that really matters, right? Beauty is a feeling from inside, and it makes whatever skin you have absolutely stunning, no matter what color it is. You open yourself to the world, and... Yes, it's great! <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to thank Mimi, um, the designer of this dress and all the other garments, and my beautiful dancers, and Monica Watkins, my friend, and, she put all, and Robert Galansky, everyone who had a, who helped me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>